Good afternoon. Today, we'd like to produce this video or share this video with you. And on the line, I've got David Godwin from eLeads. And we'd like to talk a little bit about some lists that you should pull from your CRM in order to utilize for uh, your advertising, such as Facebook or Google. Um, you know, we've talked quite a bit with the dealerships lately about downloading lists and then uploading them to Facebook and sharing them so that we can then do custom audiences within Facebook. So David, if you could just take a few minutes and share with us how to go ahead and download a couple of these lists. Absolutely. Yeah. When, I, when we set up the dealership, keep in mind we have all the data from all the different databases the dealership may have. That could be anything from their DNS to previous CRMs and, or anything that's put into our CRM. Because everything's here, you now have a centralized hub, which allows you to do things like you're asking. For example, one of the lists that you and I discussed was an equity list. At the standard part of our CRM, you'll have a campaign button here on the left, which allows you to go into our feature called Gold Digger. Now, within Gold Digger, you have the ability to pull very specific searches, one of which is, as you can see, an equity search. If you come in and plug in the information that you're looking for, this allows you to be very specific as to which customers with equity you're looking for. For example, usually equity customers encompass not only positive equity, but also some amount of negative equity. So if we came in and said, give me anybody that has no more than, say, $1,500 in negative equity, you just simply plug in the information that you're looking for. In this case, we said 1500 We want a certain amount of payments to be made so we're not too early in the buying process. A few payments remaining so the customer is not looking at blue sky when you're trying to call them. We can be very specific to the make and model of the vehicle that the customer drives or the class of vehicle. So for example, if you're a Chevrolet dealership and you're looking for equity customers that you can sell a, a Tahoe to, you may not want to limit it to customers that currently own a Tahoe. You may want to also include SUVs for other make and models. So in this case, you can be very specific in not only the make and model, but also if they give you all full-size SUVs possibly including the used ones that we've sold in the past. So once I plug all that information in, I can be even more specific on the year models of the cars that we've sold those customers, distance from the dealership, valuation based on book value, that could be anything from rough average clean to extra clean, and then exclusions is the most important thing. If you want to market to your database but not over market to them, we typically suggest that you search or exclude people that you've marketed to within the last 90 days you're not marketing more than three times a year to that particular group of customers. That's great. Once I plug all the information in, simply hit continue. It gives you a recap of the search you're looking for. If this is what you want, hit continue. If you want to make a change, simply hit change search. Once I hit continue, it usually takes about a minute to run through the entire database and apply all the settings that you plugged into the database and exclude all the people that don't meet that criteria. Now, certainly, you don't have to wait for this entire list to pull. You can have it email you when it's done. However, as you can see, it only takes a couple of seconds. Once the list pulls up, then you have a breakdown. I have 188 people now in this dealership that have equity. All of them have a physical address. 159 of them have a good phone number. And then 150 of them have a physical email address that you can market to via email. Notice down here at the bottom where it says, what would you like to do with this list? There are many different options. One of the options that you were, you were talking about earlier was the ability to export these lists to Excel so that you can upload them to a different database, for example. If I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see several different options, one of which is download to Excel. Simply click that, hit go, and at that point, it'll download your Excel. As you can see, it's down here at the bottom. It's downloading it, and then it downloads directly to Excel in the CSV format. And at that point, you can do whatever you need to do with that particular list. That's great. And you know, we know with Facebook and we know with Google lists, whatnot, it's really the email address that they're most interested in. So in this case, you could actually take this Excel spreadsheet. And if you're concerned about privacy, you're concerned about anything, you could delete all the cells except for just the email itself. And that's what Facebook will be using to, to try and match the consumers. So that's great. I mean, that makes it really easy because, you know, we're constantly telling dealers, download a list, download a list. And frankly, a lot of them look at us and say, how do I do that? So you just showed us in just a few easy steps on how to actually download the list. 
Uh, if you could just show us an example of maybe how, you know, another idea that we share with the dealers is an unsold list. So a dealership has gotten, uh, you know, a bunch of leads. They've been either interacting with those consumers or those consumers have just dropped off. You know, it's a great opportunity to either consider that maybe they bought elsewhere, but they're within a geography that they're going to service with you. So, you know, how do we go and pull a list of consumers that, you know, kind of gone cold on us or we don't know where they stand and we like to just call them an unsold list? How would I find that in, in the system? Well, David, with any good theorem, you're going to have 10 ways to do the same thing. Pulling lists is no different. There are many different ways to do what you're asking. What we find is a lot of dealerships will use the buckets that have been pre-created in an effort to pull them very quickly without having to plug in a lot of information. So, for example, notice the prospects list here, or the prospects tab. I can open this up, go to my active or inactive prospects, and simply say, give me anybody that still has the status of new, or anyone that's hot or working, or whatever the case may be. If I just simply click the word active, it gives me all prospects that are still considered active in the database. So that one click now provides me a list of all of my active prospects. It does, however, default to just new the last seven days. I can come in and say, give me all of my active prospects, and with two clicks, you now have an entire list of all your active prospects in your database. That's fantastic. Now, that's a very quick and easy way to do it. Now, there are more specific ways. For example, you'll notice there's a search feature at the top. This, of course, is our advanced search feature, which allows me to toggle between the three databases that are housed within easy. Notice on the top right, there's a prospect search pull down. I can open this up and say, give me prospect, give me sales, or give me service. If we say prospect, and the purpose of this list is to obtain email addresses from our active prospects, notice to the left of each category, you have a few checkboxes here. So I'm in the prospect search. I want all active, so I'll select all of my active statuses here. There's a lot in this database. So choose the first one, hold your shift key, select the last one, and now all of my active statuses if, this, if emails are imperative, then you'll say, I want to display the email, which is the left checkbox, and also only include customers that have email addresses in this list, which is the next box. This is a must-have. So if I leave, have this checked, it excludes anyone from this list that does not have an email address. Now, once I plug all that in, certainly I can have it display any of the other information that I choose. You may want to see the make and model of the car that they're interested in. You may want to see the trade information or what they are active, whatever the case may be, you just select the farthest left checkbox to display that in the results when they come back. Once I choose what I'm looking for, simply hit go at the bottom, and again, it takes a couple of seconds to run through the entire database, exclude everyone that doesn't meet the criteria, and then display everyone that does. So that quickly, I now have a list of all of my active prospects that have an email address, and as you can see in this database, there are 9,891 records that pulled in about three seconds. Now that I have the list, notice again at the top, there's an option here to download to Excel. I can certainly do that. Once I get it to Excel, then I can come in and delete all the columns. I don't want to export over to Facebook. And at that point, you just attach it to the email and send it to whomever you wish. Now, on top of all that, any list that you pull in eLead, remember, you have the ability to market to your customers within the eLead database. So, for example, any list that you pull, you have the option to perform what we call three-click marketing, which is, quite simply, one check selects everybody on the list. In this case, it's already been selected. The second click selects a template that could say, hey, you're interested in this car. Let's schedule an appointment for you to come in and test drive, whichever template you prefer. And then the third click would be this email button at the top. By the time you click that email button, you've just marketed to everybody on that list with three clicks. That's how simple it is. That's excellent. That's, uh, that's you know, we again, we talk so much about that and, you know, we share with the dealers. And I just, you know, I see this being such a, a valuable tool, uh, especially now that as dealers, we're getting so much better at collecting email addresses and knowing how easy it is to market to those people, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Google, or as you just mentioned, just throughout email. Uh, appreciate your time, and uh, we will definitely uh, open it up. If anybody has any questions, they could reach out to their 22 Squared field members. 
Uh, we know that eLeads has a great staff uh, throughout uh, the territory that the dealerships are all working with. And I know your staff is going to be more than eager to help uh, the dealers uh, look at these lists and download these lists. Is that correct, David? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Just give us a call. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Yes, thank you.